you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministry december 19th saturday let's spend this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke chapter 1 verses 5 to 25 in the days of king herod of judea there was a priest named zachariah who belonged to the priestly order of abijah his wife was a descendant of aaron and her name was elizabeth both of them were righteous before god living blamelessly according to all the commandments and the regulations of the lord but they had no children because elizabeth was barren and both were getting on in years once when he was serving as priest before god and his section was on duty he was chosen by a lot according to the custom of the priesthood to enter the sanctuary of the lord and offer incense now at the time of incense offering the whole assembly of the people was praying outside then there appeared to him an angel of the lord standing at the right side of the altar of incense when zachariah saw him he was terrified and fear overwhelmed him but the angel said to him do not be afraid zachariah for your prayer has been heard your wife elizabeth will bear you a son and you will be named him john you will have joy and gladness and many will rejoice at his birth for he will be great in the sight of the lord he must never drink wine or st- strong drink even before his birth he will be filled with the holy spirit he will turn many of the people of israel of the lord their god with the spirit and power of elijah he will go before him to turn the hearts of parents to their children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous to make ready a people prepared for the lord zacharias said to angel how will i know that this is so for i am an old man and my wife is getting on in years the angel replied i am gabriel i stand in the presence of god and i have been sent to speak to you and to bring you this good news but now because you did not believe my words which will be fulfilled in their time you will become mute un- unable to speak until the day these things occur meanwhile the people were waiting for zacharia and wondered at his delay in the sanctuary when he did come out he could not speak to them and they realized that he had seen a vision in the sanctuary he kept motioning to them and remained unable to speak when his time of service was ended he went to his home after those days his wife elizabeth conceived and for 5 months she remained in seclusion she said this is what the lord has done for me when he looked favorably on me and took away the disgrace i have endured among my people the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus christ dear friends there are close parallels in luke's infancy narrative between the birth of john the baptist that of jesus there are also significant differences the first reading too provides a prototype for today's gospel story as it describes the birth of uh, samson today we read uh, about the annunciation to zacharia about the birth of son to his elderly wife clearly it was a birth which in normal circumstances should not have happened in a society where having children and especially boys was your wife's primary duty to be unable to produce children was a terrible shame one had been chosen as wife for this purpose and this purpose alone love and affection had very little to do with it and it was of course it seemed that it was a wife and not the husband who had failed that's why widows in the scripture are listed as among the most pitiable of people 
such women might still be quite young when they lost their husbands to war an accident or disease but as a second hand material they were not eligible for remarriage and so could not be mothers being the mother of a son is what women were meant to be a woman who could not be a mother was less than a person as we see today's first reading uh, recounts one of these the birth of samson what is peculiar to all those sto- stories is that the child to be born has a very special role given it to it by god so in today's reading too there is a sign of god's intervention in the birth of john the baptist he is no ordinary child he has been chosen out for a very special purpose to be the forerunner of jesus the last of the great prophets of the hebrew covenant yes the opening of the gospel is a kind of diptych with the parallel story announcing the birth of john the baptist and jesus we are not dealing here the literal history although luke posits the story in genuinely historical context in the days of herod king of judea luke writes imitation of old testament birth accounts mixing historical facts and legends so we do not ask did all this happen exactly as described rather we ask what does it mean and primarily it is part of the answer to another question who is jesus christ in today's story we have classical situation of the elderly wife who is childless then one day the husband zachariah member of the priestly caste is spoken to by an angel will serving in the temple a birth of your son is announced and is destiny yes today let us reflect seriously on our own calling by god like john each of us has been called to be a forerunner of jesus to prepare the way for jesus to come in other people's lives especially those who have not yet had the experience of knowing him amen may god bless us